So you're on a diet, you're on the pasta cleanse, hold the oregano, you know what I mean. To me, when I hear the word diet, I don't think of like, oh, short-term weight loss plan. I just think the food that makes you feel your best, gives you the most energy, clear skin, happy mood, good digestion, a good diet. You should be on that 90% of the time, maybe, 40%. Are we good? I don't want to eat the news, brother. Yes. <laughs> I have no idea what he said. I don't want to be in the news? For getting hit by a car? Me neither. Am I the only one that when somebody says something and I don't fully understand it, I'm just like, yeah. And just go along like a, a jackass monkey. So along my health journey, I've had many different varying levels of discipline. Sometimes where I'm just strict, 100%, no cheats. And then other times I relax a little bit. And if I'm being honest with you, I usually feel better when I relax a bit and have a cheat day here and there. Or cheat every single day with a little bit. You know how many times I've been 100% raw in the winter and then I cheat with a potato meal? And then I just, oh, I feel so much better. Like more energy, I feel better. Just cheat meals are fantastic. I think being 100% anything is just wrong. It's not even healthy, even if you think it is. So we discuss it today, my friend. And let me encourage you to eat donkey meat deep fried in lard sauce. You should. I'll try to help you. So if you're 100% raw vegan, you're scared to eat a potato. You're just a jackass. Bigfoot would laugh at you. He's out there. Someone leaves a potato on his nest. You think he's not going to eat it? Of course he's going to eat it. There's so much ice, it's like lakes on the sidewalk. Thankfully I have dry technology boots. I think a 100% anything diet, not the way to go. If you're 100% vegan, you're a geek. If you're 100% carnivore, you're a freak. It's like, unless you're like so allergic that you can't handle anything and you feel amazing eating your restrictive diet, okay. Thumbs up to you. It's all about the name of the game is feeling good. And I myself, I was getting strict there in Thailand on the raw meat ogenous way. And it's just, I wasn't enjoying myself. I wasn't even feeling good. It's like I was getting no energy from the meat. I think it's just so much harder to digest raw meat that I wasn't liberating any energy from it. I'm getting gassy. I'm just like, I'm not even feeling good. Well, it's 100% raw is perfect though. It's the ultimate way, not my body. So when I came back to Toronto, I started eating some raw meat again. And it's even worse because it's cold here and the room temperature is not even warming the meat up so I'm eating cold raw meat and it's not I'm not even feeling good <laughs> zero eye contact that should have been a special moment between us so I started cheating a little bit just cooking some food I cooked my lamb I fried it and ghee it was fantastic it was good and then I cheated a little more because I've been on no salt. So I had a little bacon in my life. And I'm like, I'm feeling better. Zero issues. It's like, why do we get so strict? For me, it's a fear of like a certain food's gonna irritate me and either cause depression or acne breakouts or digestive upset. And so I get afraid to experiment. But once you do it and you don't react, it's just such a freeing feeling. I seem to be fine eating a little bit of bacon. Out here, the pork is fine. The Thailand pork always made me sick. I don't get so nauseous from that stupid pork belly shit. Little Canadian raised organic bacon in your life. Just fry a couple little slices and then you take them out and then you fry your lamb meat in the bacon fat. Smoky bacon fat, salty bacon fat. Last night, me and my girlfriend went out for sushi. All you can eat sushi. And I've never done that as a non-vegan. So that was exciting. Add actual sushi. Actual sushi. White fin tuna. That's not what it's called. But I had those flying fish row eggs things on sushi. White rice I was eating. Chicken teriyaki out the yin yang. Beef ribs, short ribs, not even long ones. There was a joke in there somewhere. There's the glorious CN Tower, my friends. 
We're approaching it. Toronto winter is upon us. The downtown core. That's where babies are born. So it's just interesting to me that eating seemingly... <laughs> how many quotes has that been so far? Seemingly unhealthier food. Less healthy food is better for you because it uplifts your mind. You get so happy eating it and it's so exciting. That overrides whatever bell nightmares you're about to experience. What's up, buddy? Be in the video? No? Yeah. <laughs> that was awkward. I don't know if he was smoking or pooing. One, maybe both. Just do it all. But I notice it time and time again. Like the potatoes on the 100% raw. If you're a 100% raw Nazi, you think any cooked food is poison, yet you eat it, you feel better. Oh, you just stopped detox. I almost quoted it. I changed it to a fairy wave. That's what these people say. You just stopped detox. You halted it completely. Potatoes were so toxic. You were like, your body's like, oh, I'm in Chernobyl now. Shut down everything. Make him feel good for some reason. Because detox stopped. You're loser. Got windy all of a sudden. What happened? I got some comments a little while ago. You just need to detox more. And I was like, what, the 21 day water fast wasn't enough for you? Followed by a seven day juice fast? That wasn't doing, like, cleanse thyself to your ass. Building yourself back up with organic bacon fatty acids is just as important as cleaning house. Just as important. So I encourage you to ease up on your strictness today, or maybe tomorrow. If you got your meal planned out already, you're eating dinner right now, you can't mess with that. You add something to that meal, you're dead. So if you're 100% raw, go eat some cooked food today or tomorrow. If you're a vegan, go eat a dinosaur meat. Go fry up a dinosaur bone. If you're 100% carnivore, dare you cheat with a piece of fruit, a lemon. Lucky you. Look at you. Getting to eat a lemon. You're so lucky. Count your blessings each day, my friend. And you will get more of those lemons in your life. If you're anti-salt, have a little processed something that has a little sea salt in there. Just have a little fun in your life. It's important. Food should be fun sometimes. And then get back on track to whatever you feel best though. That's the key to success in the mind and the body. Don't forget that mind. It likes to have fun in your mouth. Make it happen. Oh my God, he's making the shawarma things. Oh, Ooh, look at him. Look at him go. Ah, there's Bunner's, the vegan gluten-free bake shop where no fun is had. They have no gluten. That is pathetic. Gluten-free organic vegetarian. What do you serve, ice? What do you serve? Just lettuce and beans? You bean bitch. I tell you, the vegan invasion is real. It's everywhere in Toronto, especially like the health food stores. Every aisle is like, this is vegan, we promise. It's gluten free. It's like, that's not a good thing. It's not even a good thing anymore. It's like, oh, these are wheat sausages. It's a sad day, my friends. That's what I'm talking about. That's Bacon Nation right there. Canadian Bacon Nation. I like this store for bone broth. I bought some up the street. It was like $8.99 for 600 mils. And then I come here and I see the full liter. I think it was even cheaper too. How dare you all. Yeah, same price, but almost twice as much. Hormoning, antibiotic free grass fed. Oh, there's vegetables in there, throw it out. Actually, I just realized the chicken broth is more expensive. It actually probably works out to the exact same price per liter. How dare you all. Welcome to Canada. A river runs through it. There's a bus stop here, but it says no standing. You can't wait for it. I'm not allowed to wait for the bus. Do I wait? It's coming. I gotta keep walking. I wasn't waiting for it. I used to clean the windows here. This used to be my job. We came to this building every single day. We do these first two rows and just there's two huge buildings, so there was enough work to go around where you just stay here and year-round clean the doors in and out. 
fun times. I remember taking a picture on this corner. No, nope. there. I'll try to post it. No, Brian. What did he say? No, Brian. What does that mean? What does no Brian mean? Is that what the kids are saying now? It's fun times. I miss my buddy, Junior. We used to clean this place together. It was so much fun, we're just laughing all day. We'd have to clean the doors, and people would always walk through our doors as we're cleaning them, and we're like, yeah, yeah, don't worry, I wasn't cleaning that. You could have walked in the next one. <laughs> Fun times. Junior, if you're watching this, email me, buddy. I feel like a caveman walking around with a big turkey leg. It wouldn't fit in my bag. I got nothing else. So I think we're done. We're done here. I was in that place and there was free clementine slices and I was like, eh. And then someone grabbed them behind me and ate one. And I'm carefully looking. Oh, I tell, I tell, man. Hey man, that was a good vegan place, but it's because they faked meat well. <laughs> yeah, she ate the clementine and I was like, how was that? She's like, hey, that's that Toronto fruit in the winter for you. Just doesn't satiate. And yesterday on the bus, we will end it with this. I saw this, a mother and daughter team holding this loaf of bread. It was just a loaf, no bag. And I was like, huh? And the daughter's trying to bite it, and she couldn't get it off, and then the mom was like ripping off a piece and gave it to her, and then she bit it, and she was like... <laughs> and I was like, that's just, it's not food. That's just gluten. It's not food. I mean, bread can be done well, but that didn't look well. So I think we're done. We're done here for today, my friend. Thank you so much for watching the video. Consider giving it a thumbs up if you liked. Thumbs down if you're gonna cheat with the donkey, fried meatloaf, over pasta, rice pasta. But then you're gonna add a gluten sauce. You eat gluten free pasta, but you add gluten sauce. <laughs> Why did that scare me? <laughs> There's zero possibility of that car hitting me. There's like 15, 20 feet of snow between us. I would have heard it coming. We're done. Thank you for watching the video today. Sign up to the monthly Patreon Q&As if you have a question, because I can't get to them unless they're. Subscribe for more videos and see you.